Hey guys, Nate and Scott here with PlayYourCourt.com and today we're going to talk about shrinking the court by cutting off the corners like the pros. Alright guys, today we're going to show you how to shrink the court like the pros. This video is for players with a player court rating of 60 and up. If you're not in our community, definitely click the button in the link below and check it out. But just in case you're not already in there, a player court 60 is the equivalent of about a USTA 3.5. So UST, USTA 3.5s and up today. All right, cutting the corners off like the pros. So guys, what we're talking about here is shrinking the court where you're not covering as much court. So this is the concept. When it's great we, for big fat guys like me that don't want to run as much. It's, so if you're slightly overweight and really out of shape, this video is for you and me. <laughs> Carry on. The key though is that you're going to have solid <clears throat> fundamentals in order to execute this. Okay. So like with this skill level, it's really important that your fundamentals are solid because there's going to be variation on how you hit the ball. The follow through is going to be a little bit different and the contact is going to be much more on the side of the ball. We're going to talk about that in just a moment, but let's go back to what we're talking about with shrinking the court. When we shrink the court, what we're looking to do is to move forward in the court so that we're covering less court. By doing this, we also take time away from our opponent. Now, on the, the opposite of that is when we start moving backwards, we're growing the court. And that becomes problematic because we're covering more court. The short angles become uh, available for our opponent. But by moving in, these shots become really difficult for our, our opponent to execute. All right, so today with this cutting off the corners, we're gonna talk about this. We're gonna do two progressions. The first demo is gonna be something that you can do in your, by yourself. You don't need a partner. Something you can just practice. You might need a handful of balls though, because um, you are gonna want some repetitions. And then the second is just getting some buddies and, and really defining a border where you're moving to track this ball. But let's jump into the first demo now. Let's get it. All right, guys, so what we're talking about with this cutting off the corners is as I move into the court, I'm looking to take the ball on the rise. And by doing so, I'm cutting off the back portion of this court shaped like a triangle. This is the part of the court that I'm cutting off. By doing so, it's gonna give me the ability to really work on the outside of the ball and create a really strong angle off the court. Okay, taking a, the time away from my opponent getting them off the court and making me a much bigger threat playing offense. Now, I don't have to go cross court. We have the, the, the cross court cone set up for this demonstration. I could certainly go down the line and follow it in. Both really good options on offense. So the first progression, what we're gonna do is just kind of work through the footwork and, and what this should feel like. As I'm moving in, I'm still trying to find my outside foot behind the ball, all right? And once we get kind of a feeling of where the hips align with the court and what the rotation is, we're gonna practice what the swing should feel like. And it's not gonna be your traditional low to high. So that's why we were talking about the fundamentals being different. Like they really need to be sound in order to feel comfortable because there is going to be a variation of this. You're going to deviate from your normal fundamentals. You're going to focus on working more on the outside of the ball and you're going to swing more across the body as opposed to the traditional low to high above the shoulder. And so once we start feeling fairly confident with like where what our rotation is, we can really get a mental picture of what this is going to look like. We're going to go ahead and we're going to drop a couple balls and then we're going to work out to the target. All right, got a little lucky here. All right, but I'll run through these and try to get that ball working off the court on that angle, okay? And once we start feeling what that motion on the outside of the ball across the body, what that should feel like, then we'll jump into some live play. All right, and I love drilling this. Scott and I work on this quite a, quite a bit, but what we're gonna do now is basically set up cross court on the deuce court, and we're just gonna set up targets and rally working on these angles, okay? Because if we can't do it in practice, we certainly can't do it in a match. So practice is everything. All right, let's go ahead and jump into that demo. And we'll take a look at that now. All right, guys, so what you're gonna see is on this first one, this wide feed, and Scott and I are gonna work on that recovery, but work on that wide ball, cutting off the angle. Oh. Nope. Oh, it's all over it. Oh. Oh, swear words. Somebody's not recovering. Come on, come on, come on! That oh, I sunk your battleship with the assist from the net. All right, round two, Scotty B. Oh. Ah. <laughs> it's just that easy. 
You want to try one more time? <laughs> this hurt my feelings. Uh, come on, Cone. Uh, come on, oh, Cone. Uh, cone. Uh, 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 why are you so angry? Uh, Ooh, went deep. Oh, that was pretty short. My bad. Come on. Uh, All over it. Uh, uh, I thought you had it. Uh, uh, oh, look. Is that a two for one? I don't want to play anymore. Well, I came here to have fun, and that, uh, that wasn't any fun at all. You're not very good. No, Apparently that's what it means. I'm not. Nah, it's uh, you know what I would I would say that maybe has a little bit to do with the grips. So my western versus eastern, the ability to get a little bit more spin up and down. I know that's not your favorite shot either. Yeah, like you've been able to hit that little loopy sissy out wide four ends way more important than the winners and able to really hit that rude. one. So guys, that uh, cutting off the corners, it just it's really important, but it is it's difficult. It's a little bit more high level. It's so important that you have your fundamentals, but you're just really focused on what the movement is and getting that outside leg behind the ball. And, and really working on the outside of the ball and abbreviating that windshield wiper across the body, not worrying about that high follow through. But definitely get out there just like we did and work through targets. It's actually a fun little game. Yep. But what happens is like once you start feeling like you have the shot, you have a lot more confidence pulling, going for that shot in match play, right? So if, if you think it's just gonna happen in match play, it just, it just doesn't work that way. We need lots and lots of reps. But by being able to, to move forward, cutting off the corners, you shrink your court and you take timing away from your opponent. And those are all good things, right? Yeah, it's definitely something we want to see you guys do. And as always, we just want to see you improve your game, which is why Nate and I built the Player Court community where for only $5 a month, Man, we give you it. everything you need to improve your tennis game. All jokes aside, guys, seriously, if you want to improve your tennis game, click the button, the link below. The product is $5 a month. We give you video instruction. We introduce you to players in your area for practice, for matches. There's a league component. We're a huge tennis company. We have partners with brands like Tennis Express, Wilson. We hook you up with deals and discounts left and right, five bucks a month. Seriously, click the link below. Check it out. I promise you won't regret it. Talk to you guys soon.